Exploring Transactions The previous time that we were on Etherscan, we had a look at the latest blocks being minted, and we only briefly touched on transactions. As we can see, transactions are coming in at a rapid pace. But instead of looking at a random transaction, we are going to look at our own transaction. Let's go ahead and open our wallet. I want to go and copy my account and search for it here on the search bar. Now we can see that we still have our value. And if we look down here in our transaction history, we can see the very first transaction made to this account. This transaction was actually from when we funded this account in the buying cryptocurrency video. So if we click on this, we'll have a better view of what happened. Let's click on it and find out. Okay, so this is the detailed view of the entire transaction. Now right at the top, we have a transaction hash. This is the identifier of the whole transaction. And you can always copy a transaction hash and search for it in the search bar. This is a fun way to track transactions and also send proof to someone that you've made a payment. Next, we get a status. This could either be successful or failed. And then we get the block. This is the block number that this transaction lives in. This number at the end shows the amount of blocks that have been mined since this block was mined. By the way, you can actually click on this and go to the block. Then we get the exact timestamp when this transaction was validated, a sponsored field, and then also the from and to fields. Now this seems familiar and this we know is a part of the transaction when it is sent. With this information, we can see where this transaction came from. And conveniently with the lovely UI from Etherscan, we can see that this is the Binance wallet and it was sent to this wallet. Then we get to the value field and conveniently Etherscan has converted the way into Ethers again so we can actually see 0.198 Ether as well as the dollar value. Then the transaction fee, this is the amount that it costs to send the transaction. The transaction fee is calculated based on the gas price, the Ether price at that time and the gas consumed by the transaction. Later on, we'll have a full topic on gas. For now, just understand that a transaction consumes gas. It needs gas so that it can be processed. And depending on how much gas it uses, we need to pay for it. Okay. Then we also get this burn mechanism, which was recently implemented for each transaction. A tiny amount of Ethereum gets burned. This is to better the ecosystem. We get other attributes like the nonce that we've seen. Binance has clearly made a lot of transactions and our data field. In this case, it is 0x and this is essentially the same as nothing. But with a smart contract interaction, we might see some data in here. Something special I want to show you is to do with the state. If we click on this tab on the transaction, we can actually see the before state of the Binance wallet and the after state after it has deducted this amount as well as the before state of our address and the after state. Now this is cool because this is actually what I was talking about earlier on. This is the state change that took place. And here we can see the miner was actually validated this transaction. Great, so let's go ahead and now create a transaction ourselves. I'm going to go to my MetaMask and just show you something interesting as well. If you go here and you click on these three dots, you can click on View Account on Etherscan. This will open our wallet on Etherscan. This is a shortcut to get to Etherscan quicker. Now we see our wallet and our balance. Let's go ahead and go to MetaMask and go and transfer some funds. I'm now going to firstly select my account too and copy the address. I will go back to my account one and then click on send. Here, it's gonna ask me for the public address. 
and I'm going to paste my second account in here. Then I get to specify the amount of Ether I would like to send. Let's send 0.05. This is the estimated gas fee. So I'm going to click next. And then I have to sign my transaction. It will sign it and perform the transaction. We need to now wait until it's done. And there it is. It's now complete. So if we refresh this page, we should see another transaction. And here it is. One minute ago, we had a transfer from my account, this one, to another account. And this is my second account. We can see our balance is reduced and we can check out the transaction itself. Perfect. We can also optionally go to our MetaMask and let's switch to our second account. We can now see that the 0.05 Ether is indeed in our other account. And we can also view it on Etherscan. And that is it for transactions for now. As long as you understand that a transaction is made to change the state of the Ethereum network, then you're good to go to the next section.